Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in and happy Thanksgiving. Yay, as you know, I love Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday um, and it's Thanksgiving day today. And it's, you know, coincidentally a day, you know, that I usually have a new video out, but I'm just gonna do a quick short thing about Thanksgiving because it's Thanksgiving today, November 25th, 2021. And I am glad it's a great day. God bless you. Thanks again. This is The Word with Joy. My name is Nima Ovori and new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, so really, really brief today. I know, you know, you got stuff to do. And I have tons to do. A lot. But let's talk about Thanksgiving, all right? We'll just go through one verse. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we are so grateful. He does you who gives us life and breath. And everything else what else can we do but return to give you thanks for all these things and for all that you have done for us so we ask a lot of that as this time we remind ourselves that we should always give thanks that truly we will come out with a spirit of thanksgiving regardless of what's going on in our lives and you will be glorified forever we will receive blessings the devil will be put to shame always in Jesus name amen amen all right so very popular verse and just I think it's gonna be like five minutes all right so you can go go do your stuff all right, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. This is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Um, yeah, so it's, you know, it's easy, as we know, to give thanks when everything's going great. When, oh, I just got an A in my class, you know, or you know, I got a job, I got a promotion, and... Um, Everything works out great. We should thank God. Definitely. When that happens, you have to acknowledge right away, that was not me. I wasn't the one that did that. I'm always doing everything with God. His word says that it's Him who gives us you know, life and breath and everything else. It is in Him we live and move and have our being. Whatever you are doing, waking up is by God. Speaking, thinking, walking, talking, whatever you do, it's truly His breath. Remember when we talked about the breath of God is the man that makes us a living soul? His breath in us, in you, in me, is what makes us do anything, you know. Makes us achieve great things. Makes us achieve the so, not so, you know, the mundane, what we'll say is mundane, normal, ordinary things. But that might not even be normal or ordinary to other people, right? If somebody is immobile, getting up and walking to the bathroom is not typical. You know, that would be a miracle, right? So for you, if you are able to do that, that's amazing. That's God, right? So we thank God for those things. But when he says, give thanks in all things, it's like... Even when things are not going so great, okay, when, you know, somebody is in the hospital, when your grades are slipping, when everybody in your family is like fighting, when your boss is on your neck and you can't seem to get anything done right at work, the first thing you should do is give thanks. You're not like thanking God that this situation is happening. Oh, I thank God that, you know, this is so bad. Like, it's just thanking God because, you know what? I would not react. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to react in the flesh because if you do react, that's the flesh. That's the devil winning, right? If you're like, oh my goodness, you start to panic, you start to worry, you start to fear. That's the spirit that God didn't give you. He gave us the spirit of thanksgiving, right? Of gladness instead of, instead of mourning and of joy. So that is why we would, you know, the first instance, yes, you will still pray against that thing. But the first thing you do is to give thanks. Give thanks to God first and say, you know what, Father, I thank you because you are good. And your mercy endures forever. And even in this situation, you are good. Even in this situation, you will be glorified. Maybe you are not feeling so great right now. But God wants to glorify himself in you when the amazing healing comes. Maybe right now you are down on cash. And God wants to glorify himself in you when you get that huge financial breakthrough. And that's why you have to be all the way down at the bottom. Just so that when you're up and lifted up. Remember Joseph when he was in prison? He was like, I mean, he's in prison. Only other people, at least they were out there getting a job or an education or there was a business idea and they were like following it. How is he supposed to prosper? He was in prison, but God put him down so low so that he will get, when he comes out and becomes like the leader of the whole land of Egypt, he'll be like, wait, that guy was in prison. Do you understand? He didn't have any advantage over us at all. He was behind bars. And that's what God wants for us, to be, have an attitude of thanks. While he was there, while Joseph was in prison, he wasn't complaining. He was still doing his best, doing everything that he could, following God, and he was even recognized by the guards. So we should always give thanks. And I just want to say, I'm, I, you know, I said I wouldn't, it wouldn't be a long one because I know you got stuff to do. Um, but even recently, so 
I was going through a fast, which is like prolonged. And as we know, during a fast, the enemy is going to come and just like try to discourage you. And let me tell you, oh my goodness, from like the littlest things to the biggest things, things were just going wrong. Stuff was getting missing, things were breaking, things were like not working out. And I mean, I don't want to like tabulate everything right here. But one day I just called the kids and I was like, okay, while we're praying, I said, you know what? Guys, can you all like, can we go around and say like one thing we're thankful for like five times? So we went around, each person said one thing they're thankful for. And you, did, you couldn't repeat somebody else's. And we, you know, we ended up saying, you know, so a lot of things eventually that we we're thankful for. And I said, well, the reason why I want you to say that is because there are things that have been going wrong. And I said it, I told them because I don't want, you know, they need to know about spiritual life. I was like, look, this, 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 and this have gone wrong. And I just want you to know that that's just the devil trying to make us feel discouraged and make us feel like, you know, God is not here with us. But it's a lie because compared to all the things we've now tabulated about what he has done and what we're thankful for, it overshadows what the things that were, that were broken or missing or wrong or went crazy. And thanks be to God, all those things have been dealt with by now. Like, okay, the devil just brought it up like, ooh, ooh I'm going to scare you now. I'm going to shake this thing right now and make you worry about how you're going to make this huge payment. And then it's taken care of. So, so what happened? What was the big deal? So then the, really there was no need to put any energy in worrying about it. So I said this was going to be a short video. I know you got to go and I got to go. But um, just to wrap it up, we should give thanks in all things. You know, don't wait until the great, big, um, amazing thing. See Thanksgiving every day. Be appreciative every day that you're alive, that you're well, that you're breathing. Your family members appreciate everything around you. Appreciate the beauty of the earth. Appreciate that you're still here. There are some people who are not here anymore and are not even in a good place. You are still here. There's still hope. While there's life, there's still hope. And so much more to be lived and enjoyed. So <laughs> I'm really going along. Thank you once again. Um, you know, I pray you have an amazing day. God bless you. Thank God. I thank God for you. I thank God for you. And I pray you and your whole family are blessed and encouraged always. All right, take care. Have a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time. I'm going to enjoy mine. Take care and see you next time. God bless. Bye.